Hello guys and welcome to probably one of the most sought after blogs of the year probably, New York Fashion Week. It is a super exciting time and sorry for the lower angle, I'm just in a different location as you guys can see. So I'm in New York and I am staying at my friend Ellie's place because she always well, Ellie and Parker, they are roommates. They are always so gracious to let me stay here and I love hanging out with them while I'm here as well. So I get a little bit of the best of both worlds. But I am here for New York Fashion Week. I got in this morning. It is Thursday, September 6th. And today is officially the first day of Fashion Week. So I flew in today. I didn't have any events today. Was really just getting myself organized took all of my stuff out of my suitcase. You don't see it here, but I reorganized everything and put them all steamed in that closet over there. I didn't ask Ellie, but thank you Ellie in advance for letting me borrow a little bit of space just to hang up some pieces. Um, I'm really excited for my looks this year, or sorry, this season. I feel like when I came in January, or February, sorry, for the winter fashion week, gets a lot more hectic because you have more layers that you need and um, it's also harder to shoot because it was quite cold and rainy the entire time but I'm excited for my looks um, today it is super hot so I did not shoot today also I have no one to shoot with right now so that's an issue but tomorrow I am collaborating with a photographer and she is gonna shoot a few of my looks for the week because recently I haven't been loving how my iPhone is getting my photos so I really want to go back to the professional camera at least try it out see what you guys think yeah so tomorrow I have a couple of shows so I'm gonna be shooting in the morning and then I'll go to the shows and then actually a presentation in the afternoon and I will vlog that for you guys. I'll try to do sort of day in the life of. My schedule isn't too, too hectic, um, but let's see what we get up to. And I wanted to make a very strong point to show you guys my outfits because I never do that. So right now I am just wearing this black turtleneck from Zara with a pair of black shorts from Ritzia and I kind of did my hair up loosely. As I mentioned, it is super hot outside. So I will probably curl it later because I'm going for dinner. But um, I have just a gold chain here that's actually my mom's. Everyone always asks me. Some vintage earrings that I actually picked up when I was in New York at a store in Williamsburg. And then I just have my everyday-ish makeup look. Um, but yeah, so this is my look and also can't forget the footwear, which is the most important part. I'll actually show you guys a full frontal here. So this is the look, and then my kicks. These are my favorites. I'm so happy that my friends convinced me to get them in this cool two-tone colorway as opposed to the all-white. But yeah, so I'm just gonna be going out for a walk do a little bit of shopping and then wait for Ellie to come home and then I have dinner tonight. And I just got back from stepping out for a couple hours. It is so hot in New York right now. This is my face, I did all my makeup and I literally have a full entire layer of sweat over everything, which is great. Not a very exciting day today. Um, I don't know where we're going for dinner, but I guess I just will continue the vlog tomorrow and I will sign out for today. Also, I should take note where I'm staying right now because I know you've seen, if you watch my older videos in New York, any videos that I've ever made or any vlogs that I've ever taken in New York, I'll take place starting in this room, which you totally redecorated and it is looking lovely. So we've got a nice little shelf here with all of these really cute posters, closets on the side, then we have that little shelf that I just mentioned really nice she didn't have it earlier we've got her books organized another closet window honestly love the setup Ellie it is looking fine in here so peace out guys and I will talk to you tomorrow and good morning actually it's like 3 p.m. so good afternoon so this morning I met up with Sophie and she is the photographer that I decided to shoot with while I 
while I've been in New York. So she's from Toronto too, which is really cool. And we shot some awesome content because I will be going to the shows alone. So I want to make sure that I get nice shots of what I'm wearing when I go. I think the photos turned out well. I haven't seen them yet. But now I'm going to go meet up with my friend for a late lunch. And I want to go to this vegan place that I found. She said I could pick, so I'm kind of down. It's called... Shit, what is it called? It's called Peace Food NYC, and it's near Union Square. So I'm excited to try that because it's all vegan, and I love eating vegan stuff. And my body's feeling a little rough from, from last night. So then tonight we're going to go to the Danielle Guzio show, which is, it's first come first serve, so we have to get there early because last year we tried and it didn't work. Um, but also we tried and we got, we got there late because our flight was delayed. But luckily we don't have that issue today. And I wanted to share with you guys my look for today because it's pretty fire. So I just ordered this top along with a dress. And it's by this brand called Pre. So this company is a cool sort of athleisure brand. Sort of like IMG, um, I think. And I'm going to wear this tonight for the event. Also, like, look at me going for the black nails. Without planning my outfits before, but like literally black is the perfect color to go with everything. So I'm wearing it now as well. And I just paired it with these pinstriped trousers and obviously these sneakers. It's probably the only pair of shoes I'm going to wear for the next like three weeks, but that's okay. So yeah, this is my look and I want to show you guys my look, but like fully with my jacket because it totally elevated it and I think it looks so much better. So I have the jacket, the shirt, then I have my trousers and the sneakers. But I think overall, I don't know, I think it looks better. Definitely channeling Haley Baldwin here, but love it. show, Custo Barcelona. So I tried to vlog earlier and um, we went out last night and it turns out I thought the show was at 11.30 but it was actually at 11 so I took my sweet time this morning and I almost missed the show but um, I did it. I made it on time so thank god the shows are always super behind schedule because if not it would have been late. I got there at 11.20 and it started two minutes after that thankfully because they don't let you in if you're not on time. Um, but I was totally good and I was yeah I was scared I didn't want to vlog I was like fuck I'm not gonna be able to film anything because I totally thought I'd be able to make it but luckily we're good so it was an amazing show so much metallic which is obviously amazing I'll show you guys my look so I'm wearing this very neon top turtleneck with a patent black skirt and then obviously my favorite sneakers with the Nike socks and now I'm gonna go get a blowout because my hair looks like trash and I really want it to look nice so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then meet up with Ellie because they should be awake by now good morning and today is my third major day at fashion week it's technically day five but I kind of took yesterday off and I didn't record anything because I didn't do anything fashion week related but today we are back and today is my biggest day so it is 10:30 right now and I have my first presentation at 11 made sure I was on time so I left early and then I have a couple other interesting things that I'll do and I'll show you guys when I get there but I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing today so I decided to go for a bold look today which is this awesome power suit so it's a sort of turquoise blue um, by Naked Fashion and then I paired it with my new pair of cowboy boots that I got from Massimo Duty and then my little Gucci bag. So I 
just went to the Moon Choi presentation, as you just saw in the previous clips, and it was so beautiful. I loved the simplicity of all the pieces, but there was so much like texture and movement going on, so really, really love that. And I loved how it was very like utilitarian, but there were also feminine silk pieces. So really impressed with that show and really happy that I got exposed to that designer. Now I have another show in about 45 minutes, which is Dennis Basso, and I did a little quick change for it. So we've got this beautiful dress by Artega, which is a sustainable line, and I paired it with a lace bralette. This oversized, this is actually a men's jacket, my friend Parker's, and my cowboy boots. Today is my last day in New York. Sorry I didn't vlog much, but yeah, just been really busy. Basically today I shot earlier with my friend Jared. I'll link his Instagram here. Yeah, we shot two looks and now I change into this last look. So I'm wearing this leather dress by Zara with my sneakers. You guys already know, my favorites. And I am in Williamsburg right now because I'm gonna meet Ellie for lunch. I'm gonna go meet her at The Butcher's Daughter, which is a restaurant I've been to before, but they just opened a brand new one in Brooklyn. So let's check it out and try all the yummy, healthy food that they have. Cause all I do is work hard, no sleep, right? All I do is work hard, no sleep, right? <laughs> Super excited for our food, guys. Wow, the camera's really good today. The lighting in here. So what did we get? We watching vlogs all weekends. Oh yeah, we were. Song of style. Anyway, we got the super, what? Kale Caesar salad. And then the fresca quesadillas. So, let's try this out. And now I am back at Ellie's apartment. I am going home, so brunch or lunch was really good. Um, the Butcher's Daughter, I highly recommend. And if you guys don't want to go to Williamsburg, even though it is a super cute location, there's a bunch um, in Manhattan that you definitely should try out when you're here next. It's definitely more of a vegan place, vegetarian place, so healthier options. Yeah, so overall I had a really fun time at New York Fashion Week. I'd say that my takeaways from this experience um, were that when you travel alone, it's definitely hard to optimize your time because you, you know, are always by yourself. So it's really hard to get the shots that you want when you go to the shows and such, which is what I really enjoyed about going with Natalie last season. So definitely need to optimize your time more. Luckily, I managed to do that because my friend, um, Jared, who's in town from LA shooting, so we got to shoot a bit. And then I also shot a bunch of my looks pre-shows with uh, Sophie, who I'll also link here. She was amazing. She's also from Toronto, ironically, but she lives here now. There's always a way to get what you want to get done, you know, done. But yeah, that's just something that I experienced that was different than the last time. Super thankful for all the designers that let me go to their shows and whose presentations I got to experience. And I really hope that next year, next season, in February, I get to do the same thing but you know, maybe just a few more. So every time I'm kind of growing and learning more and I'm really, really happy that I get to start so early on, you know, I got, I've, this is my second fashion week and I vlogged both. So that's two fun experiences. And yeah, I just, I can't wait till next time. I can't wait to maybe move here eventually. The city is just so inspiring and there's so many beautiful people and amazing style and street style all around, but yeah. For now, I'm just going to peace out and end the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Please like and comment and let me know what you guys think and what you guys want to see, you know, moving forward for these sorts of vlogs. I am headed to London Fashion Week in a few days, so we'll see how that goes. I can't wait to see you guys next time and thank you for watching.